let us now look at um, how the services can be provisioned, um, particularly the real-time multimedia services in IP multimedia subsystem-based environments in NGNs. For that, we'll have to look at the uh, traditional view, uh, how IMS creates a horizontal uh, view, and uh, what are the services which can be invoked from the IMS system. So once we say that we have NGN architecture with its complete set of services and functionalities, we are actually looking at the service provisioning from the horizontal viewpoint. That is, we are interested in using the underlying infrastructure uh, uh, coming from the transport stratum and the service stratum on top of that to actually use the services in a very repeatable manner without having to create functional requirements and services for individual user applications. For that, horizontal architecture in NGNs actually implies that the services would be facilitated through service enablers, which would be the common functions reusable and repeatable for a multitude of applications. Now this is actually a move away from the traditional viewpoint which is known as the vertical implementation of services. Vertical implementation implies every new application comes with its own dedicated suite of services. So let's look at the vertical view um, with regards to the traditional services. So if each service has to be provisioned and that there is some kind of network agnosticism or an assumption that the network wouldn't provide us the services, we have to cater for each and every service and functionality at our own. In that case, the vertical implementation would require services ranging from authentication, authorization, charging down to the uh, routing and service provisioning requirements. So it means that traditional view would require a lot of duplication and uh, repetition of certain um, service services. But this is not what is desirable. For that, IMS comes into play. So IMS actually makes use of the effective and efficient implementations at the service and transport stratum to utilize and invoke common sets of services. Um, it means that IMS actually would now be a set of common services which are not specifically designed for a specific or a singular service. So the consequences with that already, already available common sets of functions and services, whenever a new service would be deployed, it would result into some kind of efficient, short, and immediate deployment. So we say that the time to market and the customer delivery would be improved. And then the overall service creation and service delivery would be facilitated and simplified to a great deal. And this actually means that uh, in, in all, the service providers, the NGN uh, operators, and the uh, uh, customer premises equipment providers would all have lower capital expenditures and lower operational expenses. So uh, let's summarize what do we mean by the horizontal functional architecture for IMS in order to provide real-time multimedia services. As you can see, we have the service stratum. The service stratum actually has the uh, support functions like uh, application support and service support. Uh, which are actually now connecting to the IP multimedia subsystem, IMS, using certain functional entities. Uh, these functional entities are the user profile, media resource control, media gateway, breakout gateway, the uh, serving and the proxy uh, call session control functions. So in all, uh, the point that we need to understand from this whole diagram is that uh, the functions are being uh, reused for any service uh, which or any application which is utilizing 
the NGN architecture with IMS as the uh, service platform. Uh, so you see here the beauty about this IMS is it is uh, once deployed and it can be repeatedly used for other applications and uh, user services. 